Shalom and welcome. Thank you for joining us here today. I want to take this time today to go and look at two styles of pickups that when you hear the types of pickups these are, you sit there and you say to yourself, what exactly is the difference? We've been hearing terms like vintage, modern vintage. These types of classifications of pickups being thrown out all across many different guitar websites, forums, YouTube videos, and so on. And not many have really gone and given a description into what the difference between vintage and modern vintage actually are. And is it that much of a difference? In my experience, I would say, yeah, it's a drastic difference. And we're going to talk about that here today because right over here, I have two Stratocasters right here, or Strat Styles, so PRS doesn't get in trouble here. We all know it's a Stratocaster, okay? It's a Strat. Um, despite having some things slightly different, it is indeed a Stratocaster. And right over here, we have a Made in Mexico Fender with some different pickups that I have put in there. This is what's going to be the focus of this video are the pickups within these two guitars. Within this one, within the PRS Silver Sky SE model, we have uh, what are classified as modern vintage pickups. Okay. These are pickups that were basically that they worked with John Mayer to go and put within this budget version of the Silver Sky, known as the Silver Sky SE. And these are classified as modern vintage pickups. Within this one over here, basically what I ended up doing was buying a Made in Mexico Fender, mainly for the shell and putting in different hardware, different pickups, all of that. Because I wanted to get that Stevie Ray Vaughan style. And so whenever I ordered this guitar from Zounds, I also ended up ordering the pickups that I wanted on the same day. And the ones that I were able to find, I wasn't able to find any uh, Texas specials over there, which is within the Stevie Ray Vaughan Stratocaster. But I ended up finding some pickups from 920D, known as... Um, 920D uh, Texas Vintage is what I ended up dropping into this guitar. The ones that came within this were the stock um, Made in Mexico Noiseless Stratocaster pickups, and I did not gravitate towards those pickups at all, thankfully, considering I was planning on going and switching them out to, to go and build a Stevie Ray Vaughan sounding Stratocaster. And I did this for the reason of realizing that there were two totally different sounds between this one and that one over there. So I ended up dropping those pickups in here. I ended up going and uh, taking it to my luthier to go and do all the adjustments and the setup. Even put a synthetic bone nut in here because, let me just be honest, whenever this thing came... The nut was not slotted. Brand new, nut wasn't even slotted. Many huge issues with this guitar, so I had to take it to a luthier after I dropped the pickups in there to say, get this thing um, to the way it needs to be. So, again, we're going to be focusing in on the pickups. And we'll go and start with the one that I've played the most. The one that I've had the longest, which is the Silver Sky SE that has the modern vintage pickups within it. Now, one of the things that whenever I've had people play this, they say that it's the most stratty sounding Stratocaster they've ever played. And that's because of the way that it, you know, does what it's supposed to do in the, the four and two positions with getting that nice stratty quack. These were also individuals that have not gone and played a guitar with 
authentic vintage pickups in it or pickups that are classified as vintage. The thing I could tell you about the sound of these pickups is they have a thinner sound than your humbucker guitar, but not much thinner. These actually, within the neck position, you can actually get a nice round sound out of this. Um, very bitey, of course, in the bridge position. And, of course, you have the... The thing that they try to do with this is they tried to get that, uh, not John Mayer, but Eric Clapton sound with that middle position because Eric Clapton was the one guy that would always love to be in that middle position. And John Mayer's original guitar that was made by Fender, uh, the pickups were crafted after the Clapton pickups to where it is that you would get in that sweet spot in the middle position, a position that is not often done with Stratocasters. The thing that you can find with these pickups, however, is that you have a high output. That's the thing that I found really um, classifies a modern vintage is the thing that's modern about it is the output. And also within the way that it is that you would expect the tone knobs to kind of adjust. When you would adjust the tone knobs with this guitar, they will get darker in their tone. And you can really get into muddy territory with this guitar. And the thing that I would say that also makes it very modern in its sounding is that <sighs> even though this is a these are premium pickups within there, they will act in the same way that your budget guitar would in terms of how it is that you go and adjust the tone knobs. Okay. In the fact that they can definitely get rather muddy whenever it is that you roll the tone knobs down. Okay. This one doesn't get as muddy as say your Fender Squire or something like that. You know, those will really get into, you know, horrible territory. But with this one, it doesn't quite get to that to that point. Um, but you have a high output, so at times you'll have to find yourself going and having to go and turn your knobs down a little bit. It has a rounder sound than you would expect out of a Stratocaster. <coughs> and that is because of the fact that in many ways they try and make these single coil pickups kind of function as an in-between of single coils and humbuckers. Okay. And they do a great job in terms of that. This is an outstanding guitar, an outstanding guitar. This one over here is different because this one, we have the vintage style pickups within it. And it's not just vintage in the way it looks. It's definitely vintage in the way it sounds. Because the thing that whenever it is that you listen to old recordings, the thing that you'll end up hearing is you will hear a lot of treble. That's the thing that you end up hearing within this guitar. It doesn't matter if you go to the neck position or the bridge position. You're going to get a lot of treble in terms of these pickups. And that's the thing that I think really classifies them as vintage. It kind of reminds me of there's a... A uh, very popular pedal that Pedal Pond puts out. And the thing that is with that pedal is that it tries to get you that Stevie Ray Vaughan sound. And what exactly is the uh, pedal? Well, it's the, um, it's the Texan Twang is the name of that pedal. And what exactly, kind, what exactly does that pedal do? It's a treble boost. It's a treble boost. To go and boost the treble in your modern vintage or modern sounding Stratocasters to kind of get you that Stevie Ray Vaughan sound. Now this one over here, you know, the thing with Stevie is he has a very glassy kind of tone. That's the thing. And that's the thing that really defines that vintage sound when it comes to single coil pickups. 
It's how glassy it sounds, the amount of trouble that is within those pickups. I've tried adjusting the height of the pickups and all that stuff to see exactly, you know, is this tone supposed to sound different than it is? No, that's the vintage tone. That's what makes these pickups, uh, you know, classified as totally vintage and not modern. It is very thin sounding. When you listen to Stevie, the thing that you'll find is that, yeah, you know, this is a guy that would go and do, you know, uh, go and put a boost pedal down with his uh, TS9, I think is what it is they used, a Tube Screamer 9 from Ibanez. But also, you know, he would go and use an amp that had a very full sound as well. They would be able to retain the glassy characteristics of these pickups. He would use Fender ramps, you know, which, you know, give you a very full round sound. So you see how those things kind of work particularly well with Fender style amps, such as a Twin Reverb or a Princeton or something of, of the sort. So with this, imagine trying to get that CV Ray Vaughn tone without the use of any sort of treble booster pedals, because that treble is right here within these pickups. You're not going to have the amazing output. You're going to have to find yourself put, going and putting your guitar ramp a little bit louder than you expect to uh, you know, be able to get a usable tone out of them. A lot of these modern amps that we have, such as the, uh, the PV Valve King that I have over here beside of me, I've had to go and you know, back off the volume whenever it is that I'm using this guitar as opposed to this one to be able to go and get a usable tone for recording or just, you know, even playing within that of the room. The pickup, uh, the output of the pickups are much lower within this, this one than you have uh, with that one. Okay, so I hope that that helps you guys in terms of the difference between Stratocaster pickups whenever it goes to modern vintage to just cla something classified as vintage. Because even though it doesn't seem that there is a big difference between the two, there is a drastic difference between these two types of pickups. And that's why it is that I have both of these guitars in my arsenal. I always end up saying that every guitar that I have has a reason for being there. I'm not a collector. And the this this guitar I'll use for drastically different things than this one. If I'm going for a more modern sound, if I need something that is going to have, be a little bit fuller in the mix, I'm going to go with this one. If I'm going and doing that uh, 80s style chorus sound and all that stuff, this right here is the guitar that I end up using for that. If I'm trying to do something Stevie Ray Vaughan related, it is this guitar. They have two totally different tones.